Welcome back and in our top business story, Islamic finance growth in the UAE has slowed this year. That's according to a new report by the US-based Fitch Ratings Agency. However, the new report also revealed that the growth this year will remain above that of conventional banks, supported by enhanced recognition of Islamic finance and the wider adoption of Sharia products, especially in the retail sector. Fitch Ratings said that the share of total bank gross financing held by the six largest Islamic banks and the Islamic windows of conventional banks was around 26% by the end of June this year, up 1% compared to the same period last year. The ratings agency also revealed that lending was up 4% year on year, based on the 17 Fitch rated banks in the UAE. The report also highlighted that the Islamic Bank's average impaired financing to gross financing ratio was 6% at the end of June, down from 11.5% at the end of 2012, while the figures of the conventional bank's front was even worse at 4.9%. Earlier this year, the UAE's central bank set up a central Sharia board, which provides unified supervision and guidance to financial institutions on Islamic finance. And according to experts, this authority is expected to introduce more transparency and harmonization in the banking process. Ras Al Khaimah International Airport will mark 2016 as the most successful year in its history with record passenger numbers, aircraft movements and cargo. As announced by Sheikh Salem bin Sultan bin Saka Al Qasmi, the chairman of the Department of Civil Aviation in Ras Al Khaimah. The airport is set to welcome a record 471,432 passengers this year. That's an increase of 52% from 2015. Aircraft movements, including all categories in the first 10 months of 2016, stood at 11,364. The airport has set a record in cargo handling in the 10-month period of 2016 by almost doubling to 98% at 3,100 tonnes from 1,600 for the January-October 2015 period. It is now projected to reach 3,700 tonnes of cargo in 2016, against 2,000 tonnes in 2015, that's an increase of 88%. It was noted that the rise is due to the vision and support to the aviation industry by His Highness Sheikh Saud bin Saka al Qasmi, who's the UA Supreme Council member and ruler of Ras Al Khaimah, as well as to Qatar Airways, which started its operations from February 2016 at four flights per week. Air India Express, starting in March 2016 at four flights per week, and increased movements from Air Arabia to a number of different destinations. Dubai-based Emirates Airline is planning to launch a new premium economy product within the next year to 18 months. That's according to the airline's president. Emirates president Tim Clark was quoted saying that currently they are at an advanced stage of implementing the project, which will be quite challenging as the new premium economy facility will need to be facilitated in hundreds of planes that the airline operates. Premium economy is levelled at, at between economy class and business class and is considered as a potentially lucrative product option for airlines that are facing tough macroeconomic conditions. Earlier this year, airline officials were quoted saying that they were evaluating the new product offering as a way to address declining yields, which last month reported a 75% fall in the first half profit, estimated at 786 million dirhams. The airline, according to local media reports, filled an average of 75.3% of seats in the first six months leading up to the 30th of September this year, registering a decline of 3%. And the Dubai World Trade Center hosted a total of 63 consumer and entertainment events in 2016, welcoming over 1 million visitors. The calendar of entertainment events have ranged from theatrical performances and musical festivals to consumer shows and sporting events, serving as a complement to the DWTC's solid business and trade exhibitions prop proposition. Ahmed al Khaja, the senior vice president of venues at the DWTC, stated that the demand for multicultural attractions and family entertainment in the UAE has positively impacted the increase in domestic and international leisure tourism to Dubai. In addition to offering a world-renowned platform for the meetings, incentives, conferences and exhibitions, the DWTC continues to broaden its consumer and entertainment event offerings to include a variety of homegrown and global events to its calendar, supporting Dubai's tourism vision and goal to increase visitor footfall.
Amongst non-trade events hosted, 18 consumer events welcomed over 300,000 visitors and 45 live events attracted over 700,000. Highlights of the year included Cirque du Soleil, Varakai, Russell Peters Show, Disney Live, Ramadan Majlis, Dubai Sports World, Modesh World and much more.